to this. It's just insane. It's pretty mental. Hey friends, welcome back to the vlog. Um, let's talk about what it's been like doing this vlog for the last four weeks now, basically. It's been pretty fun. It's been a very heavy lift on the team's front, on the, on the team's end. So thank you to Gordon and Ken and Clipped and Sean for, for making this work. Is it Michael as well? Is Michael our new editor? Mark. Mark, Mark. Ken and Mark. Ken and Mark, the absolute legends from Clipped. It's been really quite fun for me because what I've realized is that... Oh shit, it'll be... It's not a bee, it's some weird looking insect. <laughs> to, to be honest, I've kind of realized that I don't really vibe with the sort of vlog format, which is like, this is a showcase of what you're up to. And I much rather vibe with the vlog format that someone like Seth Godin has. Seth Godin has had a daily blog for the last like 30 years. And every day, I think every weekday or is it every day, he just shows up and he writes a few words. And sometimes it's a few lines. Sometimes it's a few paragraphs, but either way, he just shares some kind of idea. And I really like the idea of sharing some kind of idea on the vlog every day, because in my day-to-day -day life, I read so much stuff and I come across so many interesting ideas, but I don't really have an outlet for those interesting ideas, because it's like, in order for it to be a main channel video, then it needs a proper title and a proper thumbnail, and it needs like proper value and, and all that kind of stuff that I've talked about in this vlog before. But I'd love to be able to just pick up a book and be like, oh my God, guys, turn on the camera. I was reading like chapter five of Matthew Dix's sick book like some days today and here is a really cool idea that I came across in that book which you might find interesting or that which I found interesting. And I think the great thing about the vlog is that it really gives me the, in a, in a way, the permission and the ability to do that sort of thing. And it's sort of like, you know, Peter McKinnon starting his vlog channel where he realized that now his main channel is on five plus million subscribers, that there is a certain level of pressure that comes with posting on main posting on the main channel. This is why people make, you know, Finsta, financial Instagrams uh, or fake Instagrams in some parts of the world and kind of burner Twitter accounts and stuff because you realize that as you build an audience on one platform, the pressure to continue to quote perform mounts and mounts and then you can no longer feel, you feel as if you can no longer just turn on the camera and hit record because the thing that people are there for is the value. The thing that people are there for is the explainer video, the guide. And so I want to continue doing that, that sort of stuff on the second channel or rather on the main channel, <laughs> Freudian slip there. But I want to treat the vlog channel as like, instead of it being a vlog in the sense of, hey, this is what I'm getting up to in my day. Look at how sick this place is. I don't really care. I don't really care that this place is sick. Like, it's kind of nice. It's kind of cool. It's kind of cool that this is the life of a creative printer now that we've got a, you know, a business around this small YouTube channel, which is sufficiently profitable and enough of a team that we can come to a sick place like this. That's amazing. Um, but that's not really the stuff that helps people. I think that's not the stuff that... You know, if I, if I won the lottery and started to have like a really lavish lifestyle, would I particularly care to document that lavish lifestyle? Not really, to be honest. The thing I'd care about is just like, wherever I, wherever I am, I happen to hit record and talk about an idea. Now, I think the idea being like the main, um, in a way, the main purpose of the vlog is, is good. But I think it is kind of nice if the idea, it, it's, it, it is kind of nice in a way to also have stuff documented. So for example, if in, I don't know, tomorrow's vlog, I'm sharing the idea of the 100 year old deathbed vibe to figure out what you want to do with your life and to make decisions about how you spend your time. It would be kind of interesting for the vlog for it to not just be a case of me hitting the camera, turning on record, uh, t turning the record button on and just speaking to the camera ad infinitum. It would be kind of nice if sort of throughout the day as we're doing stuff, we're sort of talking about this idea. In a way, you know, going back to how Casey and Peter McKinnon and Maddie Hapoya and stuff do their vlogs, it's not really a, here's what's happening in a day in my life. Usually it's a, here's an idea that I want to talk about or talk to you about. And I'm going to talk about this idea throughout my day. So you get an idea of what's going on in my day, which is kind of nice. It's kind of share, nice sharing your life with your audience and the people that support you on the internet. But it's also kind of nice talking about the idea. And I think one thing we've done with this vlog so far in the last sort of 30 days of, of doing it is... It's sort of been a bit of an experiment to see like, what does it look like to actually do a vlog like this? And it would have been very easy for us to be in planning mode for so long. But one of the great things that I, you know, I really appreciate and admire about Gordon is that he really has, Gordon, our videographer, is that he really has this bias to action. It's like, all right, we have this idea. It would be cool to do a daily vlog. Let's just do it and we'll see how it goes and we'll learn from that over time. And I think this kind of attitude is why Gordon, for example, is, you know, 
prior to working for Ali Abdal Limited was, you know, had this illustrious career as a freelance kind of personal trainer and then freelance videographer. He had his, he had his own business, was making six figures plus each year. I hope you don't mind me saying that uh, through his, his freelancing business. Because it's like that sort of person who has their entrepreneurial drive has a bias towards action. Whereas people who don't have the drive that Gordon has, I found, tend to be stuck in the planning mode for ages. It's like, oh, I, need, I, I know I want to start this podcast, but I can't get started until I know it's perfect, until I figured out all my niche and all that kind of stuff. And sometimes, even when you have an established channel like we do here, it is worth just running the experiment and seeing what happens. It's like, cool, we'll commit to this for the next 30 days or for the next two weeks or for the next however long, and we will learn from the experiment. Now, through the experiment, oh, crap, crap, crap. Through the experiment, I have learned that I like sharing. I like the sharing of ideas, and I don't particularly vibe with the here is what's going on in a day in a day in my life. But I, I wouldn't have known that had I don't had I not done the experiment. And so I guess that's really my main learning from these last thirty days is that a have a bias to action, just do the thing, and you can always iterate on that thing over time. B kind of nice to document your life, but C it's also kind of nice to share ideas. And so I guess for the next kind of season of the vlog, no, it's not really season, but for the next thirty days of the vlog, the thing that we're going to experiment with is what does it look like for the vlog to be kind of about, in inverted commas, a particular idea. And the documentation of life happens sort of in the background as a way of adding color to the idea in an interesting way in the vlog format, rather than it just being a case of me hitting hitting record and speaking to the camera with the light setup and everything like that. So some of the vlogs where the team is around and can capture the day, that would be great. But other times in the vlog, like if, for example, I happen to be at a conference or something where no one else is with me, and if I feel like documenting my day, I'll do that. If I don't feel like it, I probably won't do that. I'll, I might just go to the hotel room, hit record on the camera and just speak about an idea that I've read about. And I really like this. I'm, I'm excited about this new experiment that we're running now about focusing on the ideas because it means that every time I read something, it's not just a case of me reading it or listening to it or highlighting it, but I am actually speaking about it. And there is some kind of magic that comes when you are explaining something to someone else or speaking to a camera or even speaking something out loud to your friends. There's a magic that comes with that that really solidifies the idea in your own mind. And in a way, it, yeah, it just like builds up the various neural links that form memory over time. Whereas an idea that's not shared is an idea that's just gonna live in my second brain and my room or Notion or Evernote or Apple Notes or whatever app I decide to use in a given week. It's just gonna sit there and not really do anything. So I love the idea of the vlog being the place where I just share an idea each day, kind of like Seth Godin, moving away from it as being a lifestyle vlog and more towards a, we share ideas every day. And if people like it, then they continue watching. And if they don't, that's totally fine. And the main channel then becomes the place where it's like, once an idea has been a bit more solidified to the point where, you know, it's got a clear compelling value proposition. And, you know, we thought about it a bit more. Then the main channel is where I share those ideas with a more kind of mass market, if that makes sense. So I guess the challenge now is figuring out like, even actually, n now that I mentioned this, continuing to do experiments on the main channel as well. Because for example, one thing I really want to do is, you know, that thing I talk about, I've just read some days today by Matthew Diggs, let's talk about chapter five. That's not the sort of thing I'd do as a main channel video, but maybe it's the sort of thing we can experiment as for a main channel video. It would be interesting. It would be nice to see what it's like, what the reception is like on the main channel. Because the main channel is like, it's no longer an experimentation ground. It is the foundation of our, our, our whole business. And so in like a kind of annoying way, we do have to be a bit more risk averse with posting stuff on the main channel compared to the second channel, which feels like, oh, it's just a bonus on top. It's not the foundation of the whole business. And I guess in my dream world, if I had, you know, won the lottery, didn't need to worry about making money, didn't, you know, the business was sustaining itself without me needing to do anything. In that case, I would probably treat the main channel in a, in a bit more of an experimentation-y vibe. But right now, while this entire business is dependent on me and me basically showing up to a camera and the main channel continuing to do well, while that's the case, I think, I suspect experimentation is, you know, we're a bit more risk averse with experimentation on main, but even then we probably should. Currently we're like 10% experimental on the main channel. Maybe we dial that up to 30% rather than 100%. This second channel is more like 90% experimental, whereas main channel is more like 10%. So maybe there's like a middle ground to be found on the main channel. Would love to hear your thoughts about this. If you've watched this far in this video, which is this absurd video that I'm filming in this freaking jacuzzi in the Welsh countryside. This is just insane. But also would love to hear your thoughts on this. The sharing of ideas, the doing of experiments, the running of experiments. And I guess if there's a message from this, if you are interested in, I don't know, I, I find myself often saying this. I think I've said this like two or three times in the last, last few weeks. Uh, not that anyone would have remembered, but like what I really hope that this channel can do is be a source of inspiration for people to be like, you know what? I can just turn on the camera and record and like just say stuff. I can just start that blog. I can just start posting on Twitter. I can just start a podcast, even if I don't really know what's going on because I'm going to run it as an experiment. You know, I'm going to try it out. I'm going to try it out with like a time period, like maybe for just 30 days or just seven days or just 14 days. And then I'm going to gather data from that. The idea here is that the more experiments you run, the more you realize what you like, the more you realize what you value, the more you realize what your passions are. I would not have known 
prior to starting this YouTube channel that the thing I actually really enjoy doing is hitting, hitting record on a camera and speaking about an idea. I, but I just freaking love it. And it's because I ran that experiment that I now knew that that was something about me. And that insight about me, that one data point around what I value, what I like, was the thing that allowed me to then quit my day job. Prior to that, I was thinking I'd be doing medicine, part-time medicine forever because it was fun. But now I find something that I enjoy more than that. And if I hadn't run the experiment, I wouldn't have known that. So I guess the final message I want to leave you with is that like, yeah, have a bit more of an experimental mindset. I'm trying to do this myself. I will be sharing these on the vlog as we go along. One experiment I want to run is what, what's it like living in a van? Just try it out for two weeks, see what happens. Um, but yeah, just have a bit more of an experimental attitude. You don't need to have an all or nothing approach to this. If you want to start a YouTube channel, you don't have to commit to doing it for five years. You can just try it out for a week or two weeks or a month and just see what happens. See how you feel about it. And if you like it, if it energizes you, at that point, you know that you have something that you can potentially sustain for a long period of time. And of course, there's links in the video description to our YouTube for Beginners course and our Creatorpreneur course and all the other stuff if you want to learn more about this. But to be honest, you don't even need to learn about it. You can just do the thing. So that's the message of this vlog. Just do the thing, experiment, see what happens and hope for the best. So thank you for watching. Click here for yesterday's vlog. Click here for the vlog playlist and we'll see you next time. Bye-bye.